So Realme has launched a new phone, the X7 Max 5G, and it has the Dimensity 1200 from MediaTek in it. I don't get to test MediaTek chips very often. So today we're gonna to be taking that new device and testing against the Galaxy S21 Ultra with the Exynos 2100, 1200 versus 2100. Which one is gonna win? What do you think? Well, let's find out. So we have the Realme X7 Max 5G on the left-hand side with the MediaTek 1200 a processor on the right hand side with the Galaxy S21 Ultra with the Exynos 2100 processor. Of course, the big difference here when it comes to CPUs is that the Exynos 2100 has got the Cortex X1 CPU core in it, whereas on the left hand side we only have Cortex A78 and Cortex A55. Of course, there's a difference in the GPUs, which we'll talk about in a minute. And as I'm saying that, it looks like yes, the Galaxy S21 Ultra is the first into the 16 thread test. So clearly, that CPU is making a difference. That one X1 core is making a difference, as also on the left-hand side is now into the 16th thread test, but the right-hand side is now into the blur test. Of course, the beginning of the mix CPU GPU part of speed test G. And as I'm saying that, we're now into the infinite scrolling list. Coming up is the smoke particle test in a moment. So the extra core, that X1, as opposed to just four quarters, 878 cores, seem to be making a big difference. 26, 27 frames a second on the right-hand side, as it's now already into unity test. On the left-hand side, what we're going to see? We're going to see. Come on, what's it going to be? 22, 22 frames a second. So not quite as good. Now we're now into the 3D test, and as I'm saying that, the Dimensity 1200 has got the Mali G77 MC9 in it, whereas the right-hand side, the uh, S21 Ultra, has got the G78 MP14. So clearly, this is going to be a win, I think, for the Galaxy. I don't think it's going to struggle now as it's coming down to the end of that Unreal test. There we go. What's the final time going to be? 1 minute 27.2. And also on the right, uh, left-hand side, we've got the Realme X7 Max 5G coming to the end of the Unreal test, but it's far behind. How many seconds? That's the question. There we go. 137.1. Okay, let's break down the scores and see exactly what happened. Okay, so as we saw, the Galaxy S21 Ultra with the Exynos 2100 came in first, 1 minute 27.2, and then 9.9 .9 seconds later came in the Realme X7 Max 5G with the Dimensity 1200, 1 minute 37.1. Well, what happened when we look at the CPU, we can see a big difference here, 40.5 versus 33. Point four. That all comes down to that uh, Cortex X1 core that's missing in the Dimensity 1200, but is part of the Exynos 2100, and that's clearly made a big difference. So a difference of 7.1 seconds. Closer gap when we get to the mixed CPU GPU. Of course, there's still a win for the Galaxy S21 Holder, 22.5 versus 20.1. And then when we get to the GPU, things are closer, but still a win for the Galaxy S21 Ultra. 34.0 versus 33.6. So overall, the Galaxy S21 Ultra 1 with 1 minute 27.2. My name is Gary Sims, this is Speedtest G. I really hope you enjoyed this test between the Realme X7 Max 5G and the Galaxy S21 Ultra. If you did, if you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you like these kind of videos, why not stick around by subscribing to the channel? Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.